searching for something that like I saw earlier today and I literally have like absolutely no idea what this thing was. So what happened was that I was just like outside like jumping on the trampoline and stuff whenever I heard something that sounded like it was over by our creek. So I looked over there and it looked like something pretty big was actually moving in the weeds. Now the thing that I saw moving in the weeds could have been like a deer or something. So I don't know what to expect to find whenever we go over there. All I know is that it was definitely something big. And as I'm sure most of you guys know, we found like a bunch of crazy stuff in our backyard and stuff as you have seen in our past videos. So I just literally have absolutely no idea what to expect. So now me and random stuff came outside and we're gonna go over there by the creek. <laughs> by wherever I saw whatever that thing was. I was moving in the weeds and see if we can like find it. So yeah, this is gonna be super crazy and let's just go ahead and head over there right now. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, a breath already. That was super far. I took at least five steps there. Okay, you know what? I might actually go grab me something really quick to drive me over there because I'm like way too lazy. So now let's go run a couple hundred feet to get over to the shed to get something to take me over there. Come on. What? Okay, so we got the beautiful, luxurious tractor right here. And I was thinking about taking it, but you know what? We've taken this thing so many times, I kind of want to drive something else this time. So let's go into the shed right now and see if we can find anything else. A few moments later. Oh my gosh, off in the distance. I see a go-kart. But there's like all this junk in our way. So I guess we're gonna have to like clean all of this up real quick and get it out of the way so we can pull the go-kart out of here. And this could take a long time. Okay, boom. So we have now cleared a path going back to the go-kart. Let me just pull it out of here real quick and then head over there to the creek. So let's see if she'll start up. Yeah, let's go ahead and head over there right now without wasting any more time. I think I broke it. Okay, so the chain just fell off. We should be fine. Okay, we have now fixed the go-kart. Let's head out there for real this time. So here we are guys right now we're over by the creek right where I heard whatever it was that was in the weeds earlier today So we're just literally gonna like search around here to see if we can find anything Oh, I think this would probably make a pretty good weapon and I can also use it to knock these weeds down to look through them sing, 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 sing. Wait a minute Wait a minute it's my old shoe. How did this thing get over here in the weeds? I don't know, but it's pretty much a piece of crap now, so I guess we don't need that thing anymore. Okay, seriously though, let's continue searching. Okay, so as you saw, I did not see anything up here. However, we did end up finding this branch over there that we can now use as a defensive weapon in case something crazy happens. But now that we are protected, let's head down to the creek itself and maybe even go back to the woods and keep on searching. Let's do it. Yo, guys, look, what is that over there? It looks like some kind of sign. Yeah, random stuff. I think you are right. Guys, it seems like there's like some sort of sign over here literally right behind me. Let's go over there and see what it is exactly. Oh my god. There's like this giant creek in our way. We gotta try to get across it without getting wet because it's like super cold out here. Porg, it's like 90 degrees outside. You stupid. Might as well just walk through it now. Okay, so right here is the sign that we literally found when we were on the other side of the creek. So without further ado, let's go ahead and read it and see what it says on it. Warning, Area 51. Wait, guys, Area 51? Why is there like some sort of random Area 51 sign in our woods? I don't know, but let's just go ahead and finish reading it really quick. So it also says it is unlawful to enter this area without permission of the installation 
insulation commander. Guys, what insulation commander are they talking about? This is like literally our woods. Like we own the property. Let's just continue to read it. While well, on this installation, all personnel and property under their control are subject to search. Use of deadly force authorized. This is like literally our yard. So why is this sign right here? I kind of wonder if somebody's just like pranking us or something. Because our house is obviously not area 51. I don't know, but this sign is like literally stuck inside of this tree. Like whoever put this here actually like nailed it inside of it. So I guess it's just stuck right there. But like I don't really know what else we're supposed to do in today's video. We literally just found this area 51 sign right here. And I don't like see whatever it is that I heard earlier today back here. But I wonder if what I heard is the thing that actually set this sign up. I don't know, but I guess I'm gonna go ahead and head over here really quick and grab the go-kart and end the video for you guys. So uh, let's go over there right now. Alright, but anyways guys, we really will see you guys in and I try to upload at least one video a week. So make sure you guys have your notifications on as well so you 1984 has been a tough year. Our sales are down, our growth is down. Sonny, I brought you in here. Guys, I've been out here for like three days now, searching for this one item, and I think I have finally found it. It's literally right there. I can see it through my high-quality technical binoculars. We gotta like hurry up and go over there and get the package that I've been searching for forever because it's literally right there in front of me right now. So, uh, let's just like go get it. Wait a minute! Oh my goodness, guys, look! It looks like that random panda is, like, trying to take my package! What? We have to hurry up and stop the panda before he, like, takes our package! Stupid panda! Get away from my package! Oh my god. Yes, guys, I think we scared the panda away! Let's go! Now, let's go get this package so we can actually see what it is. Oh my goodness! Look at it! It's a box! Right here it says protect from the heat. No! The sun! It's right there! This sticker said to protect it from the heat and the sun's like super hot and stuff. We gotta get to some shade. I'm good! Alright! Boom! Now that this is protected from the heat and stuff, let's go ahead and open it up to see what is inside of it for real. All right, how does this complicated box work? I can't figure it out, it's super complicated. Tor, you're an idiot, let me do it. You literally just like grab right here and pull. See how simple that was? No, seriously, guys, what is up? And welcome back to a brand new video. Now, guys, in today's beginning part of the video, we seriously do have this package right here. We're gonna go ahead and open it up to show you guys what is inside of it. So here we go. All right, so we got some, uh, like, cardboard paper right here. No need for that. <laughs> And oh my gosh, guys, right here, look! It's literally the world's largest gummy bear! This thing weighs like five pounds! But guys, not only did we get the world's largest gummy bear, but we also got another world's largest gummy worm as well! Guys, in one of my newer videos, if you didn't know, I bought the world's largest sour gummy worm and it's the world's largest one as well <laughs> so as you can see right here guys we have tons of gummy this is literally like eight pounds worth of gummy which is like full of nutrition i don't even know what we're supposed to do with these gummies now Pork, i know what to do with the gummies okay random stuff what's that here hand me the gummy worm uh okay here you go <laughs> this looks so good let's give it a little taste test Oh yeah, that's good! Oh yeah. I guess I'm just like gonna keep eating this. What the heck? Guys, it's a wild animal eating my gummy worm! Well guys, I guess we just lost our gummy worm. That sumo guy just literally took it. And that guy kind of looked a lot like me, but like really fat. But I guess all that we have left now is the ginormous gummy bear. And this time we'll be sure not to let the sumo guy take it away from us. So without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and open it up. Oh my goodness, here we go. It's beautiful. Look at all of its glorious sugar and fatness. Guys, here's our ginormous gummy bear. I'm not sure what we're gonna do with it yet, but I guess we 
should probably figure that out. So we got this paper plate right here, and we also have this butter knife, and we're gonna use this to cut a piece off of the gummy bear, and then me and random stuff are gonna race to see who can eat that piece the fastest. We're each gonna get one ear that we can eat, and whoever eats it first wins. Okay, one ear right there. Now we gotta do the other side. Two hours later. All right, so here we go. We have two gummy bear ears right here. So now our giant gummy bear literally has no ears. So rest in peace, buddy. He can no longer hear what we're saying. One like equals one ear for the gummy bear. All right, so we both have our ears right here. And we're gonna start in three, two, one, go. Gummy bear so good. First the swallow wins. Come on, chewing muscles. I'm gonna swallow mine whole. I'm done. No, there's no way. I am the winner. Guys, random stuff just beat me at my own challenge. Rest in pepperoni. Okay, but seriously, we kind of want to get our ginormous gummy worm back. But like the sumo guy that looks just like me literally took it over there behind that truck. So we're going to put the gummy bear back in its packaging so he doesn't get dirty and then go over there and try to rescue the gummy worm. All right, so without wasting any more time, guys, let's go over here and confront this sumo suit and try to get our gummy worm back. He's literally right on the other side of this vehicle. We need to go over there and confront him and like take our gummy worm back away from him because he literally stole it from us. I just hope that he hasn't like ate it all already. I don't know, but there's only one way to find out. Let's head over there right now. Wait a minute, guys, the sumo guy is literally not here. But look, the gummy worm is literally right here inside of its wrapper. I don't know how it got back in there, but apparently... Somehow it did. And it looks like he like barely even ate any of it. All right, seriously though, guys, let's just head back over here and do something with the gummy worm for real this time. Come on. Oh, no way, guys. I set the gummy bear down right here and it's gone. Oh my God. Wait a minute. What if Rex actually ate my gummy bear? You know what? I'm gonna go beat up Rex because he could have ate my gummy bear. Who knows? Rex, feel the wrath of this gummy worm. My mother told me someday I will buy Gummy with good oars. Do something! Okay, I forgot how tough Rex was. Well, you know what, guys? We just lost our gummy bear because Rex may have actually have ate it. So now that we have our gummy worm, I think we're just going to end the beginning part of today's video. And I'm literally just going to go inside and eat this thing because it's, like, super good. But anyways, I do really hope you all enjoyed today's beginning part of the video. If you guys did, then please go destroy that subscribe button if you guys haven't already. But yeah, we'll see you guys in the main part of today's video. And I really hope you all enjoy it. So, uh, peace out until then. 8.01 p.m. Oh, hello there. Oh, hello there. No, seriously, Tor Fam, what is up? And welcome to today's main part of the video. Now, in today's main part of the video, guys, I was actually, like, down in the creek bed looking around the area where we found the sign in our last video because a lot of you said in the comments down below on that video that you actually saw, like, an alien in the background or something. So I was, like, looking looking around the area where we found this sign in our last video because a lot of you said in the comments down below on that video that you actually saw like an alien in the background or something. So I was like looking through that video and stuff and I paused on the time that you guys told me to look at and in the background you could literally see like a creepy looking alien. I'll put the picture up on the screen right now. This is just a screenshot from our last video and that alien or whatever it is was literally just sitting there in the background. So guys this is like super Super creepy, but I just went down here in the creek like I just mentioned and I have something that I really want to show you guys that I found So let's head down there right now and let me show you guys what it is that I'm talking about. Come on Alright, so as you guys can see, the sign right there that we found in our last video is literally like all messed up Like it's super bit and stuff almost like something tried to pull it off of the tree Let's head over there and get a closer look. Wait, guys, this water is in our way. Gotta try jumping over it. Let's do this. Let's do this. Water, you think that you can get in my way like that? Don't worry, I'm gonna jump right over you. Oh. We made it. Okay, but.
but seriously guys as you can see this sign is like all bit and stuff it literally looks like someone or something actually tried to pull this out of the tree but if the alien put the sign right there why would he want to get it out of the tree after we saw it i have absolutely no idea but these trees right back here is where the alien was actually sitting in the background of that video let's go check it out so he was just like sitting down right here. But as you can see, he is no longer there anymore. So there's literally like nothing we can do. And I can't find like any clues or anything. So I have absolutely no idea where this alien is at right now. So we're just going to wait and see. And if he doesn't show up in the next couple of days, then we might actually set up some sort of trap out here to try to capture him. But I guess all that we can do now is just like wait. Oh my God. Stupid water! Why did you have to be right here in my way? Okay, guys, I literally just fell in all of this water, and now I'm, like, super wet and stuff. So I guess the only reasonable thing to do now is to, like, go jump in our pond. What? If we see the alien or anything, then we will let you guys know. So, uh, peace out until then. And I seriously am gonna go jump in the pond. Until later, guys, until whatever happens next happens. Yo guys, what is up? So right now it is like super late as you guys can see in this window right behind me It's literally dark outside right now And the reason why I'm like talking super intense right now and stuff is because our security camera alarm actually just went off a few minutes ago And you guys will never believe what the video shows on it So I'm pulling up the security footage right now and I'm gonna show you guys it So before I even play it as you can see there's literally something that looks like an alien right there in front of it Now you gotta remember this camera is literally just right there outside of this door so this alien was literally just right by us a few moments ago let's play the video and see what happens so, so as you can see it was literally moving around and it looks like it was just like looking straight into the camera and then the camera like stopped recording because it only like records for a few seconds at a time as you can see right here the camera has not went off since then so there's like been no other sighting of the alien guys right, we're gonna hurry up and get ready to go out there on the deck where the alien was at we're gonna go over there and see if we can like find him and stuff so hopefully the alien is still there i don't know if it will be or not but i guess there's only one way to find out let's hurry up and go out there right Right now. Oh my gosh, guys! The alien's right there in the window. Look! One way to find all heroes, all villains, or a mix. Create the best five character team. Find out. Let's hurry up and go out there right now. Oh my gosh, guys! The alien's right there in the window. Look! Your top talent. It's time. Is almost tapped out. Yo, look how creepy it is! What are we supposed to do? Tori, you gotta go like capture it right now! Randoms of your right, guys! We have to go out there right now before the alien gets away! He's literally like right by our house right now! What if he like gets inside or something? We cannot let that happen! Let's go get him and just like capture him with our bare hands! Hopefully nothing crazy happens! No! I don't see him! No, guys! He was just right in front of our door! No, no, no. Brandon, stuff, turn the light on so we can see. Ah, that's really bright. Guys, he could not have went far. No way. I don't see him. Look, it's a wild animal. Oh, wait, that's actually just our cat. Cat, help me find the alien. Okay. Guys, I literally don't see it anywhere. We tried to run out here as fast as possible, but he ended up getting away still. I'm just gonna search for a couple more minutes to make sure that we do not miss him. Uh, so like, roll the time lapse right now and hopefully we end up finding him. Alright, well after searching for a little while, we still have not been able to find it. But guys, make sure you go in the comments down below right now. And let me know what you guys think about this. Like, do you think that alien is literally from like Area 51? And if it is, then why is it like at our house? That literally doesn't make any sense to me. But I don't know. All I know is that it looked like super creepy. I mean, you guys saw it like literally looking through our window and on our security camera as well. But we can't really do anything else right now until you guys let us know what you guys want us to do next. 
next because the alien is nowhere in sight and i'm just not quite sure what our next move should be i don't know though guys i really do hope you all enjoyed today's video i think we're gonna go ahead and end it right here because Yo, what is up, Torque fam, and welcome back to a brand new video. Now, I was just, like, trying to figure out what to do for the beginning part of today's video. So, I was, like, walking around Walmart and stuff, and I ended up finding this air mattress right here. Oh, snap. So, we're literally going to be trying to use this air mattress for the beginning part of our video. I'm not quite sure what we're going to do yet. But the first thing that I know that we have to do is open it up so we can get it out of this box and actually use it. So, let's just open it up now. So, let's see here. I'm just going to open it up really quick. I'm um, trying to figure out how it works. Stupid box, open up! Still did not open up even after I just threw it around. So I guess I'm just gonna sit here and keep on trying to open it up unless I figure out some other way to open it. Two thousand years later. Okay, so I've been trying to open this thing up for a very long time now. And I finally thought of one way that I know will like open it up no matter what. So I went inside super quick and I grabbed these car keys right here. Because I'm literally gonna run this box over with our car. And it should open up like no matter what because a car literally weighs like 2,000 pounds. Or probably a lot more than that. So I'm gonna set the box down right here. And I'm gonna go grab the car super quick and then just like run it over. So let's do it. Do it. Depression can be a lot. You may look okay, but you don't feel okay. Because the pressure box right now wait i never thought about the air mattress it could actually like break it but anyways it's not important right now because it looks like the box is absolutely smashed i'm gonna drive off of it and let's see if it opened it up <laughs> to check the box to see what damage we have done okay so this thing got smashed pretty good no that's a lot of damage so now we can just rip it the rest of the way and open it up for real this time this might take a little bit of muscle Here it is, the beautiful, luxurious $7 air mattress. All right, so right here, we have a tag that says important on it. We definitely do not need that. It's way more flat than I thought it would be. Tor, you gotta blow it up for it to get bigger. Oh yeah, oh, random yeah. stuff, you're right. Let's go blow this air mattress up. Yo, Big Chungus is like all deflated. He must have some holes in him and stuff. Rest in peace, Big Chungus. <laughs> Okay, here we go. We're gonna go ahead and blow this up really quick. 12 seconds later. Torg, what are you doing? Wake up! You know what? Since he doesn't want to get up, I'm gonna force him to get up. Ow! What was that random stuff? I was just trying to take a nice nap. No, seriously, guys, I'm going to use the air mattress on the trampoline right now. Let's try it. I have absolutely no idea what's going to happen, but I guess we're about to find out. First try. First try. All right, we're now on the trampoline, guys, and let's just, like, jump on the air mattress and see what happens. All right, here we go. We're going to get ready to jump on it right now. I wonder if it'll, like, make me bounce up higher. I have absolutely no idea, but let's find out. Here I go in three, two. Okay, well, I, like, literally did not bounce up any higher. In fact, I think it made it even worse. Torg, let me try. Uh, okay. I'm gonna do a front flip on it. <laughs> Let's go. I am so good at front flips. I, like, actually landed it. Man, I kind of want to try that now. 
I think that was close enough. All right, so after jumping on that trampoline, I'm kind of exhausted. So we came down here to the creek so I can float on the air mattress and just like drift down the stream. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Maybe like take a nap while I'm floating down the creek. What? This should be pretty relaxing. guys so i'm gonna take a nap now so it may be a little while until i'm done so uh peace out until like whenever i wake up or until whatever happens next happens the next day uh guys it's like the next day and tori is still out here on the mattress so uh let's go check on him and make sure he's okay Wait, what are you doing? Oh, hey, what's up, guys? Yeah, so I've totally been out here for, like, over one day now, and I'm, like, getting super exhausted and stuff. Wait, bro, why are you in different clothes? I have no idea what you're talking about, random stuff. Why are you always lying? No, seriously, Torn fam, what is up, and welcome to today's main part of the video. Now, obviously, I did not actually stay out here overnight on the mattress because, like, that would have been really dangerous, and I probably would have got, like, eaten alive live by bugs but what we are actually going to be doing in today's main part of the video is setting out like some sort of trap to try and capture the alien that we believe is from area 51 because if you guys do not remember this video right here which was like our last video we actually saw like an alien in real life so today we're going to be setting up a trap to try and capture that alien so this is going to be super crazy guys i have absolutely no idea what to expect so hopefully this trap that i have planned actually works and right now we are setting it up so let's get busy and hurry up and just like do it now the first thing that we're gonna need to set this trap up is actually the sign now this sign right here is a sign that we found a couple of videos ago that we believe the alien left behind. And then in our last video, whenever we came back here, the sign was all bent, like something tried to take it off. Oh my God. So what I'm guessing is, is that the alien tried to take the sign for some reason, but he couldn't get it off of the tree because it's nailed inside of it. So we're gonna use that as bait to lure the alien into our trap that we're gonna be setting up. Now we just gotta like get it off of this tree. So let's go ahead and try it. Yes! Guys, we got the sign off of the tree! I think I literally broke it though. But uh, it's all good because we ended up getting it. Now we're gonna head up to the house. And that's where we're gonna set the trap up because that's where we last saw the alien at. But really quick, I kind of want to take a nap. Because after all that pulling and stuff, I'm kind of tired. So I'm gonna go back here on the creek and take a nap and get right back with you guys in like a couple of hours. What? <laughs> Two hours later. Introducing new sweet and savory crepes. Whether you like the flavor of cinnamon bun after sunset. All right, guys, so my nap is now over. So we're gonna be heading up to the house right now where we're gonna be setting our trap up at. So let's go ahead and go right now. <laughs> Now again, we're gonna use the sign as bait to hopefully lure the alien into our trap. So I think we're gonna end up putting the trap right here. So there's our bait. So he'll like walk over to the trap. Now I gotta go get something else for it. So I'll be right back and I'll like try to hurry. 12 seconds later. Alright, so our other item is this right here. And you guys are probably wondering what I'm gonna do with a fishing stringer. Well, guess what? I am about to show you. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, is actually run this part through this ring right here, just like that. Now the next thing I'm gonna do to set up this trap is tie it right here around this pole. Now what's gonna happen is I'm gonna pull this down some just like this. Set it down on the ground right in front of our bait that will hopefully lure the alien into it. Now you guys might be wondering how this is actually a trap and how it's gonna like capture an alien. Well, I'm gonna demonstrate how it works. Basically the alien will be walking over here just like this to go grab the sign. And whenever he does, hopefully he'll accidentally step into this little loop right here. 
and then whenever he grabs the sign and he goes to go away, his foot will get caught inside of the string just like this, and he'll try walking away, and he'll be tied right here, and he won't be able to get out of it. So the alien will literally be trapped right here, because as you can see, I can literally go nowhere now. I think this is actually a pretty good trap, and I really hope that it works. It's the first time that we've ever used it on this channel. Oh my gosh, I actually just captured myself. What am I supposed to do? Help me. I'm dying. I'm dying. Help me. I really hope that this ends up working. But I guess all that we can do now is just wait until later. And we'll come out here like really often to check on it. And if we capture the alien, then we will obviously let you guys know. But yeah, guys, we'll see you later whenever whatever happens next happens. And hopefully we catch the alien. Don't worry, I'm good. <laughs> So it is currently like 10.30 p.m. at night right now. And we're gonna get ready to go out to the trap and check to see if we like caught anything. And this is like our first time going out there since we set it out. So we literally have no idea what to expect. But it's probably been like three or four hours since we put the trap over there. So we figured that this would be a good time to go out there and check it. And that is exactly what we are going to be doing. Now obviously if there possibly is gonna be an alien out there, then that could be like super dangerous and stuff. So I'm gonna bring this weapon out with with me right here so that we are protected protected and you might be thinking to yourselves well isn't that just a pool stick well uh yeah it kind of is but pool sticks are actually pretty tough and i think this would hurt really bad to get hit by uh let me test it out oh oh my gosh that hurts so bad and to make sure that i don't hit myself in the face again i'm gonna wear this protective gear so let's go ahead and put it on now let's see if the pool stick hurts when I hit myself in the face by accident. Wow. I couldn't feel a thing. Alright, so now that we have all of our alien gear, it is now time to head out there and check on the trap to see if we have caught any monsters. So uh, without any further ado, let's head out here right now. Alright, turning the lights on and here we go guys, we're going out here right now. Again, I have absolutely no idea what to expect. So here we go right now guys, if you haven't already, please go smash that thumbs up button as well. I would greatly appreciate it because I'm going out here for you guys. Here we go in three, two, one, let's go. Okay, so just right over here, literally probably like 20 feet away is where we set the trap up at. Who knows what we're gonna find over there, if we even find anything at all. Okay, but seriously, let's go check this thing out. Oh my gosh! Guys, the alien is literally right there. I just saw its leg and it's like trying to get out of the trap right now. Random stuff, show them on the camera really quick. down there right now and like try to capture him before he like gets out of our trap or something here goes nothing but i think i have a really good idea that i'm gonna try right now i'm actually gonna throw the pool stick down there and try to hit him with it so maybe he'll like stop moving and that way he can't like hurt us okay here i go <laughs> guys i wonder if i hit him come on let's go see Yo, guys, look! The alien's right here! Look at how creepy it looks! Oh my gosh! I'm pretty sure we just, like, knocked it out with the pull stick whenever we threw it! We gotta go ahead and get it out of the trap! I don't think he's gonna wake up anytime soon! Okay, here I go. This could actually be really dangerous, because if he wakes up, he could, like, attack us or something. And look, it looks like he was like trying to pick up the sign and get away with it. But and then he dropped it whenever he realized he was trapped. Okay, I'm gonna pick him up now. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at this alien. This thing is super creepy. This is probably the creepiest thing that we've ever caught. Guys, what are we supposed to do with him? I need you guys to go in the comment section below right now and let me know what you think we should do next. Because this thing is like super creepy and he might even be from Area 51. I don't know though, guys. We literally just captured this alien, which is super crazy. I don't really know what else to do right now, guys. I think we're gonna have to shut the camera off and go figure out what to do with him now. So again, I really hope you all enjoy this video and if you guys are brand new then please go destroy that subscribe button i would greatly appreciate it and the alien probably would appreciate it as well so yeah anyways we will see you guys next time on a brand new video with that one random ginger peace out